Hello everybody, my name is Alan Torrance. It is nice to be here. It is wonderful seeing everyone's videos so far. I'm glad to join everybody on this journey through our college career, continuing our education for our associates and or bachelor's degree or beyond that. Um, in a future video, I'll kind of expand more about the topic that I'm going to go over today, but I choose to kind of go over my future aspirations. So I work in EMS, I work for a fire department, I'll go in more detail that later. Uh, but my goal is to elevate myself within that department uh, towards the EMS side. So I'm a firefighter paramedic, currently work on an ambulance, sometimes work on a fire truck. And what I would like to do is become an EMS field supervisor. They work on the same shifts, that works, works the same kind of 24-hour rotations that we currently do on the ambulance and the fire truck. But we would respond in a separate vehicle to many different incidents. Uh, the whole point of the position is to allow for a greater span of control to kind of give a leadership presence while on scene during either high stress calls or calls that have more of a higher level of care and need a higher treatment modality, if you will. Instead of having to take personnel from an additional apparatus, I could then jump on that call instead. So say we have somebody who has a cardiac patient that's evolving, may actually become a little more critical. Normally, currently in our infrastructure, we would take a firefighter medic off of an engine and put them on that medic to take the patient to the hospital. But that takes our staffing down a little bit more. Having me arrive as a third provider on the EMS car would allow me to jump on that truck without affecting the fire engine at all and allow us to take that call in with three people so you'd have more confidence. And it also opens up some avenues regarding uh, future treatment plans. Um, a big one that we have in our, in our kind of circles, what we call RSI or rapid sequence intubation. It's where we have to take somebody uh, who can't control their airway, put them to sleep. You usually need two paramedics kind of to make that decision because you want to have some backup plans and you want to have another person at the same provider level be there to help you. Uh, and a lot of times we don't always have that. We have a, a lower level and then we have a paramedic. So that also opens that up. So that's my long-term goal or at least my, my, my mid-term goal is to make EMS supervisor with the hopes of one day maybe becoming an EMS chief for our organization. So I look forward to working with the rest of you guys uh, and I look forward to the next video assignment. Thank you and have a wonderful day.